Good morning, Mets fans, and welcome to a Friday edition of Driving with Mr. Met. I am Mr. Met, and I'm back after a couple of days of silence. Um, we have our first real injury scare of the offseason. I'll talk about that today. Um, Manny Machado is off the board, finally. One half of the duo that no one wants um, <laughs> is off the board, and I'll talk a little bit about that, too. And uh, finally, um, baseball starts tomorrow. I mean, like, there's a game to watch tomorrow, and I'm going to talk about that as well on today's show. Seeing that um, we, we as Mets fans are conditioned to expect the worst when we hear something like, quote, soreness in the knee, um, when the news came out um, a couple of days ago that Jed Lowry, Jed Lowry was experiencing some knee soreness, everybody went to Panic City, which I think is a frequent stop for Mets fans. Uh, but uh, the reality turned out that there was no structural damage shown in the MRI that Lowry had uh, yesterday. So it's just one of those, you know, he's stretching it out and he tweaked his knee or something. And, you know, I don't believe in luck or omens or anything like that. I really don't. Like, I, I just don't put th that much um, behind things like that. But the, uh, the prevailing mindset in the past has always been that whatever could be the worst possible scenario will be what happens for the Mets. And I think this, this Lowry non-injury is, uh, is a sign that maybe that's not going to be the case anymore. You know, if this were Sandy Alderson's Mets, uh, Lowry's knee soreness would have led to ACL surgery, out for the year, and, uh, you know, we're going to get a steady diet of Jack Reinheimer in the lineup. <laughs> Um, not the case this year. So, I, you know, I don't know if this is a, is, a, is a good sign or an omen or something, but, and I don't believe in that stuff, but maybe it is, and maybe I need to start believing in it. So Lowry's okay, and that's a good thing. Shifting gears now to um, free agent signings, we can finally say that one half of... The duo that no one wanted uh, has signed for an exorbitant amount of money in San Diego to be the newest third baseman of the Padres, and that would be Manny Machado. Um, uh, th 300 some million, I don't know the exact number, and I don't care about the exact number. Uh, 10 years. And boy, I, you know, I understand all of the talks about labor relations and whatnot and how, you know, the owners are too greedy, but I'm sorry, but asking for 10 years is, is greedy. I just don't like the length of the contract. I don't care about the money. I've said that, I've, you know, but committing 10 years to someone under contract is such a gamble and uh, the Padres have done it. And, you know, make good for them. You know, maybe they had the money and they looked at this and they said, this is a chance for us to inject the superstar into our into our clubhouse uh, and, and be a good influence on these young kids that we have coming up because, let's face it, the Padres do have the best farm system in all of baseball with a couple of prospects that are just right there on the cusp ready to come up. But here's the problem with that theory. Manny Machado is not a positive influence in the clubhouse. So, whatever, man. I don't... I don't I don't get it. I don't like it. I'm relieved that, that Machado will not be in the National League East. Um, I would have preferred to see him go someplace else, and he did. So as a Mets fan, that's a win. And so now we'll see Manny Machado six times a year uh, instead of 18 times a year if he were in the division. And, you know, cutting that down by uh, two-thirds is a good thing. Uh, because as much as I don't like Manny Machado, he's a good player. And you don't want to have to face him more often than necessary. So kudos to that one, to uh, the Padres. And now the, the last straw to fall, um, although not really because there's still a lot of guys not signed, Craig Kimbrell being one of them. Um, the last guy to fall is Bryce Harper. And yesterday it came out that Harper wants $326 million, 10 years, 326 because he has to have more, he has to have the largest contract in all of baseball history, surpassing Giancarlo Stanton. 
this is where the dick measuring contest just annoys the shit out of me. It's like, you know what, Bryce? You won one MVP. You've had one stellar season. You've got great hair. And you're an asshole. That does not earn you $10 million, uh, $326 million and the, the most lucrative contract in all of baseball. I hope he doesn't get anything. Um, the, the rumor is that the, the Phillies um, want him desperately. I think we all know that, uh, but that he doesn't want to sign in Philly. So he's sort of like going to all these other teams and begging them to make an offer that he can accept. Um, and it ain't happening. So, you know, I don't know. I, I, I really don't care um, about Harper. I, I don't think he's that good. I honestly don't care if he signs in the National League East. Because, look, he's been in the National League East his entire career. He hasn't beaten them. He has not single-handedly beaten the Mets. Right? He has not. The Mets have almost always handled him pretty well. So, whatever, man. Go ahead and sign with the Phillies. Sign with whoever. Get your... Get your stamp that says you're the most lucrative, got the most lucrative contract in baseball history, and um, be on your merry way with your hair and whatever. Good riddance to Bryce Harper. I hope I never have to see him again as well. So, uh, <laughs> uh, but that's how I really feel about it. So, finally tomorrow, one o'clock p.m. And I can't believe it. I don't remember who the starting pitcher is going to be for the Mets. I know that Degrom is starting on Sunday. Not that it matters, but. Um, tomorrow at 1, there's a baseball game. It's spring training game number one tomorrow on SNY or MLB TV or wherever it is that you watch your Mets games. But I, I can't wait to see this the, the team on the field. It's just the, watching baseball of any kind. I mean, I watched college baseball a week ago. I, I found myself just watching college baseball. Um, I, I just want baseball. So uh, I get my wish tomorrow. I'm excited. I can't wait. And um, unfortunately, I won't be able to be back to talk about it until a week from today. I'm going to be out of town again um, next week, Monday through Thursday, and I'll be back in town on Friday. So we'll have a couple of things to talk about, hopefully, by, uh, by next Friday. The Mets will have played a few spring training games. We can talk about those. Um, Jed Lowry will be back on the field. Hopefully we can talk about that. Um, and maybe Bryce Harper is signed contract by then. Maybe we can talk about that as well. But until that time, um, I'm going to leave it at that for today. Um, follow me on Twitter if you're not already doing so, at Mr. Underscore Met. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it as I always do. And I'll close as I always do by saying, let's go Mets.